Good morning, Dr. Richard Buckley here at Milford MD. You know how it goes. This morning's project is um, usually on Fridays uh, we do smaller projects, things that don't require you know follow up the next day. Lots and lots of little projects um, typically on Friday. Sometimes bigger ones. It depends on the Friday. Isn't it nice that it's Friday? Yes, it is. It's been a busy surgical week. So, um, are patients awake as always? Yes. Yes. And happy as always? Yes. Very happy. And comfortable as always? Very comfortable. And I actually, relaxed. I actually did give you some little pokes in the earlobes, but you said you didn't feel them. No, not at all. That's a little weird, but our patient did not feel my little pokes in the ear lobes, and I can tell you that they're, you know, totally nicely numbed right now. So, you started to tell me about being an 80s girl and how this whole thing started. Yep. Sure. So, back in the 80s, uh, it was big hair and big earrings, and uh, they were quite heavy. And I had this habit of pulling on my earlobes. Um, and lo and behold, before you knew it, the holes became slits. And um, really difficult. I always was losing my earrings. I had to find special earrings. I couldn't find those cute little dainty ones, you know. Um, and um, for a long time, I maybe at least 10, 15 years, I wanted to do something about it, but uh, uh, I just happened to be a patient here and asked about it, and they said that you said that you did it, and I said, okay. And then you got wild on us, so you decided to take advantage of our Valentine's Day lip filler while you're here, what the heck, right? I did, and okay. I was on a Zoom call last night, and... Uh, I was looking at my lips, and I was like, oh, damn, you know. Well, you know that's what the masks for you. Wear the mask, well, you don't look at Yeah, but not on I've Zoom. Seen. You can take your mask yeah, off. Yeah, well, that's the problem. Yeah, <laughs> so, I, you know, and then I just happened to walk in, I asked some questions, and there's a February special going on, and you and I talked about it, and I said, let's go for it. In the olden days, so, you know, earlobes can just be elongated as far as, you know, the hole is concerned, so the hole can go to a slit. And then, of course, eventually the slit can just come through on the edge and they get ripped. Yesterday, was it? We fixed a day before yesterday, two days ago, we fixed a, a ripped earlobe okay. on our um, posterior neck lift patient while we were at so, it. Was tightening. that all, all the way through? Yes, was it was the, uh, totally uh, all the okay. way through with the ends just, you know, okay. flapping around in, in the breeze. Mm -hmm. So in any case, um, that elongation is scar tissue, so what we do is numb it, of course, and then we trim out the scar tissue because if you just sew two pieces of scar tissue side by side, they don't heal up together, so we need the edges nice and fresh. Put it together. In the olden days, I let that heal up for four weeks or six weeks before I would put any earrings in for people, and the preference certainly would be to have somebody uh, professional such as myself put them in for you rather than just, you know, go to some department store and put in some earrings that are, you know, and, it, and it's nice to use gold or, 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 you know, white gold, something good, because if you put in, you know, really low quality, let's say, uh, surgical steel, they can muck up the ears and just get all inflamed in a mess. I, I would rather put in gold of some sort. Nice earrings. It's regular rule in life. Nice stuff is nicer. So, uh, but... Anymore these days, I'm happy to put studs in at the same time as we do the procedure so people can leave with some earrings. And uh, so typically we'll figure out a nice place to put a gold stud in each ear. And, you know, instant gratification. Slip, fix, studs in. Right? Nice. Nice. And what were you saying earlier? Like even one, leaving with one stud would be good? Uh, yeah, you Both said... <laughs> You mentioned something about uh, I'd be leaving with two studs, and I said one's sufficient. But I'm bump. I did not do that. <laughs> so uh, my job is to repair the earlobes and, and put in whatever I'm asked within reason. So uh, we can show you that in a minute. It doesn't take really very long. Although it's got to be done in, in a nice way. Sometimes I need to level up the outer edge. And sometimes I need to do some, you know, refashioning of the tissues inside and maybe even make a little notch on the inside so it's not just a straight line down. Technically it might go in and then make a jog and then go in again. 
things to help it be stronger in the future, in other words, you know, because we'd like to not do this again. I've actually never done one twice, have we ever? Mm -hmm. You know, in decades of doing this, we've never had one that we did mm -hmm. fail, no. right? So, that's good. All right, thank you for watching Milford MD. We'll show you a little more in a little while. And we'll show you the after. You guys, I'm sorry about not having a whole huge ton of before and after photos. We have them. We have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands. But it takes time to fetch them, make sure we have permission to, um, you know, show them and then to size them so they're the correct sizes. And then, you know, we'll, we're going to do it. If any of you out there are masters in media, real wizards, and you would like to work with Milford MD, especially on site, I'm not a big fan of doing things off site, but then please give us a call. Let's chat. We can use a lot of help with our media. Thank you very much for watching. Milford MD.